Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the MetaTrader 4 app back on iOS. As you guys can see on the screen, I have the app on iOS and here it is there. Um, it has been removed from the iOS and Apple Store. So I'm going to show you guys in this quick little video here today, showing you guys how to actually get it back um, and download it and um, how to do it. So I'm sure if you guys are searching this up, um, MetaTrader 4 is the number one Forex trading platform. Um, and it was removed and it is still available on Android. However, someone has backported it back to iOS and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get that. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and first go over to settings on your iPhone or iPad. And what we're gonna do is go to general and then scroll down to you see background app refresh. Now once you're there, this is on by default for every single iPhone. Um, but if you did turn this off, go ahead and turn this back on. This will allow you to actually download the app. All right, what we can do next now is we're going to go ahead and visit the site, which is called VIP Plugin. So I want you guys to type in your phone right now, VIP Plugin. should look like this. This is basically a plugin site for iOS and Android apps. So you can go to the search bar on VIPPlugin.com and type in MetaTrader. And you're going to see MetaTrader for the iOS and Android installer. So just click on that. And then it's going to say Apps Required. Just go ahead and press Start Install. And what this is going to do, VIP plugin is going to install the plugin to your device um, within a couple of minutes. So we're going to wait here for it to download and install. Um, takes about 40 seconds um, to install and you should be all good. So we'll just wait for this to finish. And the website here is VIPplugin.com. So go ahead and visit that now on your phone so you can go ahead and get this. All right, so it's just installing right now. We're waiting for the uh, bar to finish. Okay, almost done. It's loading apps right now. Now what it's gonna do is gonna load the next page and this is gonna take you to the um, MetaTrader 4 installer page. Um, and basically it's gonna say, you need to get two of these things to get MetaTrader 4 installed on your device. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and download some of these. Um, you do need two of them for them to install. Now, I'm not gonna do it here today as I've already got the app, um, but you just tap on that button there, just like this, and it's gonna open it up and then let you go ahead and download and install it. So like I said, once you've done two, um, that should all be enough and you'll have the MetaTrader 4 app back on iOS. You can go ahead and open up and log in um, and you should be all good. Um, if you do have any problems, leave a comment below. I can help you guys out. But what you want to do is go to settings um, and go to power. And if you're in low power mode, sometimes low power mode won't allow you to actually download the app. Um, so go ahead and make sure you're not in battery. So you can go to battery. And if you're on low power mode, see as you can turn on right now, um, it will um, not, it'll turn off background app refresh. So if you can't make sure that's off and then it'll allow you to install the MetaTrader 4 app on your iOS. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please let me know in the comment sections if you guys need help. And this is the easiest way on how to get MetaTrader 4 back on iOS and iPads. Thanks so much for watching, peace out.